the news. I hope they get my good side. There you go. That's what I like seeing right here. That's awesome. The, the local law enforcement is awesome here. <laughs> oh, we got, the, we got the show here. Cops called. Cops called five cars. <laughs> you got so many people watching. This is crazy. It's crazy, isn't it, Josh? Yeah. This is a fun day, man. I know. Nice it's being here. Heck yeah, man. I was criticized for pulling the cars out of Bimbrick Lake because I knew that they weren't the car we were looking for. Oh no, any car you get out of the water is, exactly. is, is amazing for the environment. Exactly. The first thing I'm going to do is identify the vehicle. Uh, that way if it is involved in a crime and or if somebody's inside of it, it then becomes a crime scene, all hands off, and then we wait for investigators, detectives to get here and, and then proceed. You know, no car is underwater for a good reason. So with a lot of these, they're all, you know, they're linked to missing people, you know, violent crimes, and that's, you know, it's pretty much the gist of it. So these guys on fire, they're actually working, uh, they're, they're in the middle of their ship. Oh, wow. So if we get a big apartment fire or anything like that, these guys go and refill all the firefighters' tanks. Um, but definitely they're taking time out of their day to come out here and make sure you guys are taken care of. That's awesome. And everybody on the team is. So That's very cool. Uh, we've set them up in advance and they're more than happy to be out here. Just keep in mind they are active right now. So definitely. they get called out, they got to bounce. <laughs> we, yes. we definitely want to thank them for their time. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today we've made it all the way out to Fort Worth, Texas and basically we're hoping today to pull five cars. All I really have to say is I really need to thank Adam because he drove 15 hours all the way out here. You ready? Take care, man. We do have the police with us. They're going to be able to tell us if these cars were stolen. So right now they're trying to fix Nug's boat motor. No, it looks like it's all in the same gear. It's just one part. You spun it, I'm guessing, a couple times. It's like down here. Yeah, it's down That's here. what I said. I don't know if you got what, what it does if we pull this on. Once I get done with this, he's going to be <laughs> flowing through the water on all his explorations, <laughs> wind blowing through his hair. Ahoy, matey. How are you doing? Hey, it looks like a vehicle right there, man. It's really interesting that we're able to talk to the police. You know, obviously we're here with cameras and you know, they're allowing us to film them and talk to them about what possibly could lie beneath the surface. It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like right there, there's a little blob, it's kind of square shaped. I'm guessing it's a vehicle. We've got a car. It appears to be a vehicle. Listen, before you mark it, I would suggest that you rescan that. It looks like a car to me. It looks like one. What? Where do you, when do you think I should drop? Hold on. Turn it around. We've got the magnet right now. We're going to be sending it down to the bottom. Keep drop, drop it right there. Quick. Drop oh, it. I got it. I got it. You I got, got it. it? It's on it. It's on it, man. You got it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've got the buoy marked. There's currently a truck right here. So we think. Oh my gosh, I'm getting I'm getting so tangled, Adam. Damn, I pulled it up. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is that line tight? Is it gonna come loose? No. We're gonna get more of a better eye on it once we're able to dive down and actually assess it. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, yeah man. We can do it too, man. We found two! Jared, we have two cars. Adam was the one who saw the first one. Yeah, and you were trying to tell me, oh, it wasn't a car. You're trying to trick us. <laughs> That's not what I said. I said, I want to make sure you understand what you're looking at. Yeah. Because I wanted you to see two cars there. I got the other buoy, and we got the other magnet, so let's go mark that car real quick. Let's not hook these magnets together now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. Is it the same car though, or is it a different oh, yeah. one? We might have two of the same. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck on something too. Right here, man.
Some of them, but it's it's crumbling apart. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Here, let me see that. <laughs> Try to keep it from breaking apart. Yeah, I know, dude. It was like falling apart down there. Here. Oh, well, we got, got enough. Maybe. It's just amazing to be a part of this opportunity, and it looks like a Ford, some sort of small, small car. I'm not really sure. Uh, I was wiping off the back of it, but it just got way too murky. And I just came back up to the surface because I had that license plate that was breaking apart. But it was really cool. I'm super happy to be here, and it's awesome that I was able to dive on that car and get the license plate. The tag. Well, I think the way it, it curves right here. Yeah, the way it curves right here. Yeah, you've got this piece there. It's called an OTL. Yeah, it looks sure like an S, but... Oh, it does. Oh, yeah, it's not bit. connected. It's like yeah, because it's not connected. Sam. I didn't see another plate, but I can go to the front and check. Yeah, let's do the. Let's check the front. Okay. And see if we can get a plate off of that. All right. Or if it has a VIN number. Okay. Uh, maybe, do you have comms when you're down there? I don't have comms, no. Okay. Um, I can put one on if... if yeah, needed. if somebody finds it, they can. you can call it up. Okay. But if the plate's in this bad, I don't think you're going to see a VIN. Okay. Let's try to go to the front. Let's try to check the other side. It's the front plate. plate? Okay. Okay, I'll go let's back in there and dive. Yeah, let's just jump in and get that one. Okay. Go. Perfect. All right, so the goal for right now is to check to see if we can find a front plate. All right, let's do it, everybody. Let's see if we can get this plate off. Oh. oh, yeah. J99 WMB. We got the point. J99 WMB. Texas. Uh, what did you say? A Ford what? Ford Telster. 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 Oh yeah, that's it. It look. I don't know what a Ford Telster looks it's like, but <laughs> okay. So, yeah, like a little. Like yeah, it was a little car. It was yeah. a little car. Yeah. Real nice. Was it a four door? It was a four door. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, thanks for getting that plate. It took all the guesswork out of it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Interesting how the rear plate is all dissolved. I know, right? It's, it's so great. weird. Hey, anybody that's here, if you have a, that silver vehicle, we're going to need to move it so we can get cars here in just a minute. We're, we're going to need to clear some of that out so we can get uh, records and stuff in here. Yeah, so they're checking right now on their systems uh, to see about these individual license plates. It is about to get very chaotic, very quick, you guys. We've got the tow trucks here. I'm also with Jacob. How's it going, man, from Chaos Divers? It's gonna be a good day. So uh, we had choppers above, did you see I that? did, I did see that. We had two of them. <laughs> it's so crazy. That is amazing. Look at that, that thing, man. That is astounding piece of metal right there. That is incredible. That's what's gonna be pulling it out? Absolutely. Down there, what does it look like? Are the wheels exposed? The, there's they're like three quarters of the way exposed. There's like part of it that's covered by a bunch of silt and stuff and rocks. But I think we should be able to get a chain through. I do feel chain like through. like through the axle. Okay, we yeah, want to run get a chain the behind the wheel around and then connect them together. All right, so you can either hook it on that, hook it around. Oh, yeah. You have options. You can go through the uh, fender or the underneath belly, oh, yeah. find something to hook that to, or you can just go around and just hook it. Oh, yeah. All and right. then put your, uh, put your cable on it. Cable on it, okay. Sounds good. Uh, 
All right, see you guys. I will. So he has a little I like back up over with knob that you can actually sit inside the frame underneath if it's upside down and or he's got a hook or a chain. But he's got three different options that he can do. So. We only need one point of contact really, right? Yeah, yeah. Then he's going to use the, the actual cable and hook onto that chain. Because sometimes when you get in there, you can't find anything to wrap that chain around and hook onto itself. Sometimes it's just Yeah, that's the goal for the end of the week. What's the weight limit? How much can it pull? Uh, it pulled 80,000 pounds. 80,000 pounds. And how much does a typical car weigh? About 3,000. 3, so you could pull like a semi or something out with this yeah, thing. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> One axle. One axle. Gonna hold, do you think? I think it'll hold. It needs oh yeah. Is it the, is it the um, driver rear axle? It dri driver rear. Nice. Yep. That's the one that's pretty much facing so, right here. Right? I pulled on it as hard as I could. It was not coming out, but. All right, we'll see what happens. Yeah, you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I think I got it. Hopefully. Hope I got it. Come on. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> Let's get it! Man! Checking the vehicle to make sure there's nobody in this car first. We got Jacob pull down there and here and everybody checking the car real quick. See if there's anything obviously floating around in there. Check them out this way or nothing in the truck. How was that, Britton? That was awesome, man. Oh. <laughs> Good job. That's so exciting, man. That is so cool. Uh, good, down good there, I was murking everything up while I was down there. It was so hard I'll to see, but I finally got the chain hooked on it. I noticed that. I forgot again. They said it was a 2001, so who knows how long it's been in the water. Could be for a couple years, could have been for 20 years. The wheel, oh yeah, the wheel. it was on there when I uh, when I was down there. Yeah, it was connected and everything. I don't know what happened. It's, oh, there's the steering wheel. Oh yeah, they fall off after a while. <laughs> And everybody stay tuned because this is not the only car we are going to be getting out today. There's a bunch other that we have marked over in this area and it's going to be awesome because, I mean, we're just pulling up cars left and right. It's red, guys. Oh, yeah. Is it red? It's red. I don't think it's pink, man. That's red. That's red. It's red. 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 No, 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 it's pink. It's red. I'm pretty sure that's red.
As you can see, PD is with us, and we just actually got a car out. Right there in the middle, oh, there yeah. is a chair that's just totally separated from the entire cabin of the vehicle. So this thing crazy. has been upside down. It has. Like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's. Yeah, you just flipped tons it over. Of time. Oh, it's yeah. crazy to think that someone actually took this and stole it from someone who owned it. Apparently, now we're going for the pickup truck. There, So there is a truck there. Yeah, it's on its wheels. It should come up looking nice and pretty. All right, all right. You hear him? Yeah. Can you open a door? Let's see if we can open a door. Maybe everybody hears the Oh, I see him. He's stuck in the seatbelt. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. That is so many fish. Right there. There's another one for the books, you guys. Found by Doug. And this one was used in insurance fraud, so. We got this car out, man. That's awesome. Wait. Chaos divers. Chaos divers. Pulled okay, so out, chaos yeah. divers pulled this out. I just watched. <laughs> but check this thing. Check this thing out, man. I mean, it's got ATM machine in the back. This is loaded. We got a safe and an ATM. A safe and an ATM. This is big. This is this is federal implications. Hey, cops are here. Really? Big time. Cops are here. Big time. Are you serious? Yeah. Re oh wow. So we have a stolen vehicle. We got a stolen vehicle. With a safe and an with ATM a safe in. and an ATM in it. it. It appears with to be some type of drop safe, but there's a yeah. there's a plastic housing here with wires. Oh yeah. So yep, this is ATM. It says ATM on it. They just got another truck out. Oh no, it's out. It fell out. There's another safe back there? Yeah. There is. Oh my gosh. Look at the fishing line. Look at that. There's another safe in the trunk of that car. John, oh, Corey and John, what's up, man? So part of the process too, you know, it's, you get the fun and the uh, fun part of it to pull it out and see it, but we have to do the whole police work, which Officer Sullivan was taking and doing right now. He's I am so sorry. Down. Let me just apologize to you right now about what? causing so much work. That you oh, I love this stuff. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I've worked I've worked Como for years now, and uh, no, I I love to do police work. That's why we're here. So some of us anyway. <laughs> <laughs> break into a building to steal? Because yeah. then you're accomplishing burglary. Uh, let's see. It has a sign on. I, I guess it could be anywhere. It could still be indoors or outdoors. I would say these are outdoors. You think? Probably more than likely outdoors. Chain to the back of the truck. Chain to the back of the truck. Pull off. Be great if there's a fish on. There's the magnet. Yep, there's the magnet. Uh, so the one across. All right, thanks. It's crazy, isn't it, Josh? Yeah. This is a fun day, man. I know. Thanks nice for being here. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> got my hands full. I know. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we've got them all out here. We've, uh, you guys have scanned the lake several times, numerous boats. So we feel like this hopefully it would be in here. In that's awesome. That's, that's fantastic. Clean, up the to lake. clean the entire lake. So you oh, think yeah. the last time we were here, we cleaned out numerous vehicles. And this time, uh, man, it's a lot, uh, a lot of environmental cleanup and oh, definitely uh, evidence that we've had some crimes now. What? You know, being able to help the community by doing something we love, you know, with scuba diving is what we always love to do. Whenever we provide answers, we provide closure for a family, that's really what matters in all of this. You know, we're trying to do good for the world. We're trying to pick up after ourselves with the environment. You know, everybody's just constantly dumping things into the rivers and canals and things like that. And that's part of the things that I do on my channel as well, is walking and 
canals, actually tossing a magnet over a bridge and like pulling things up that way. So any way where we can help clean up the environment, that's what we want to do. All right, everybody. So that is going to wrap up another video of Depths of History. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to press that like button, subscribe if you're new, and also check out all the channels that I was with today. It was an amazing day of scuba diving. We found a bunch of different cars. Thank Fort Worth PD as well. They did a lot of work today with us in helping this investigation. And it's amazing because, I mean, we were able to find ATMs in the back of this, which basically, I mean, it makes it involved in a crime and they're gonna have to do the paperwork on that and actually take these cars both into evidence. So we're gonna have a lot of episodes coming up for you soon. Thanks so much for watching, good luck, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Catfish. Catfish in the car. We got catfish. We got to go put him back where he belongs. He's got to get four. Five cars. One location. You were the one that. Five channels. We're getting it done. We're getting it done, man.